A Good Old Fashioned What's in My Dome Buckle Satchel by Dooney and Burke. If you want to find out how I'm going to carry this big beauty, stay tuned. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Andrea. And uh, thank you for joining us, me in the Babe Cave table today. And don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe down below. It's free. And this bag is beautiful. The features, the buckles, down to the whip stitching handles, beautiful. But it's been... 90 plus degrees, so I have not carried it yet, but I believe we're headed towards a cool down. I really want to carry this bag, so uh, I move, I'm moving into it, and this is how I'm going with this next fashion chain, and I really like this owl <laughs> with this tiny poof ball. I got this at Love's Truck Stop. If you've ever been into a Love's gas station convenience store, that's where I got this cute little owl that you could put maybe your quarter in for Aldi or use it for a cute little owl decoration. So just a quick spin. The buckle dome buckle satchel has been around quite a while on Dooney. I think it's one of their classic bags. Uh, these are really high dollar brand new and I'll link my original video down below for this bag. It is I scored a major deal on it and I am so excited to carry it. And this will hold my phone when I'm not using it. So that's that pocket. I did order the a lot of people use makeup brush holders to keep the tassels from looking a little wonky like these are a little wonky so I do have those coming and I have several tassel bags so I will uh, link the little makeup brush holders down below if you haven't heard of that because I need to use it these aren't the best shape <laughs> but here is the bottom of the bag has feet and let's turn this back around so I have my essentials in it I didn't overpack I put exactly what I would use for daily use so I'm going to weigh it for you <laughs> so this is with my stuff inside the bag let's turn this on and it's already on pounds and ounces this is with my everyday essentials in it. <laughs> yeah, you're seeing that right. Almost five pounds. 4.79, so close to five pounds. You don't need dumbbells, I'm telling you. Use your Florentine leather handbags for lifting weights because... <laughs> This is literally, I didn't pack that much in it, but just be aware that the Florentine leather, especially this dome buckle satchel and then the small satchels are heavy. So let me just show you what is inside my bag now. This bag is so big it knocked over my lipsticks. I'm not used to getting big bags, but lately I've been really into them. So I'm going to adjust this camera. It has this domed shape, and the zipper is smooth. Good zippers. Love the hardware. I'm not sure how much the lady I bought it from actually used it. Because <laughs> it's basically brand new. So this is how it looks, and see, there is so much more room. But I'm not trying to carry 
that much more. <laughs> so let's just start getting the stuff out. In the side pocket, easy access, this is my mace. And that's just in one slip pocket. And the other slip pocket, very, very important for me to carry this around with, you know, those hot flashes that come on. This is a perfect little fan and it's thinner. And also, I just have my mirror in the side pocket. And on this side, I have gum and breath strips. I rarely use this pocket, uh, the zipper pocket, because I'll forget my items in it. <laughs> so I hardly use it. I just put my receipts or stickers or registration in the zipper and just leave it alone. So here is the code for the domed buckle satchel. And it's black Florentine leather, has a little bit of suede, but not too much in this bag. So I went with, I had thrifted this wallet and I was going to sell it, but it is just too pretty to sell it. And I like this long chain here, the zipper smooth. I'm not sure that this is real leather, but it's in my wall, you know, in my bag. So here's a quick little overview of that a lot of card slots full-size wallet so i went with basically white and pink accessories for this bag and this is holding gift cards and library cards and this was a lovely gift from no other than says what and i just have my keys attached to it And finally, I had this pouch for a while and I've never used it. And uh, this is why I don't buy cream or white bags because I already have got a stain on, on this. It's just a fabric. I'll try to get it out. This side looks okay, but I just love lips. You know how I am. <laughs> lips. <laughs> and it's just pink and white. And this thing holds a lot. It's just a cheap little cosmetic pouch has my contact solution, my hand sanitizer. This is my Chanel lip gloss, flashlight, nose spray. Gotta have Dr. Pepper, a lip smacker, and a, my pen is inside. This thing holds quite a bit. You can buy cheap little pouches off Amazon for 10 12 dollars and they work just as good as any Dooney or coach or other brands so and i thought it was really cute in this bag so here it is empty that's literally all i have in it <laughs> and you saw the weight let me zip it up so this little key fob key holder I've got my main, my wallet, and my cute lips, and my mace, fan, mirror, and gum all fit. Of course it fits, because it's a huge bag. <laughs> but I just wanted to do a little old school what's in my bag, because I really want to carry it. And I can't recommend this dome buckle satchel. It's just beautiful the whip stitching down to the every detail. Um, but I wouldn't probably buy it new because they're really expensive, but they are all over the secondhand market. And yeah, I just, I'm into big bags. I don't know. <laughs> so beware though of the weight. And yeah, that is all I have for today. Just a little what's in my bag. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and comment down below. Do you think I did good with the pink and white little combo here? <laughs> I was going to do red, but I don't have a giant red pouch. And so I like the, the look of all of these. So that's what I went with. So anyway, thank you for subscribing to my channel. It is free. 
and I'm working towards getting to 2,000 subscribers, so if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell if you don't want to miss my future videos, and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night or whatever day time it is, and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye!